Hi everyone. Oh, you caught me. I was doing a little research here. And if you have seen these characters before, you probably know what I'm researching. <laughs> so, um, it is you guys that told me about the video game called Among Us. And um, you were drawing characters that were in the game. And so I was looking at all of the different options for drawing these little characters. Um, and they look like the game, it looks like the game is a lot of fun. I don't know a lot about the game, but I do know that um, it's kind of like a whodunit game. And that there are characters, I think it's like seven or eight characters, all different colors and they are on a spaceship and they're amongst the characters there is one imposter and the goal is to get rid of the imposter before bad things happen so anyway i haven't actually played the game i'm going to do that a little bit later but i thought we could do some pop art pop art is art that focuses on imagery that is very popular and this game seems to be really popular so um artists that were pop artists were um artists like andy warhol and he did um the famous campbell soup can or images of marilyn monroe all popular icons so our among us characters are very popular i have um a little card here that I created and it's actually a little pop-up card and it is an Among Us art explosion. So I've got it right here and it was actually a lot of fun to create but you see it is a little pop-up and the background is Mike's explosion and I've got my little character here as well. We're gonna get started actually creating this and you can make yours different from mine. It doesn't have to be the same color. And you can add things like little hats or um, things in the background to make this more personal to you. Hey, let's get started. So you're gonna need a few supplies today. You're going to need a sheet of paper. This is uh, actually a oh, 9 by 12 sheet of paper that I'm going to be folding in half. Now if you don't have a sheet of white paper from your sketchbook, um, you can use a piece of printer paper. Um, paper that is a little bit thicker is um, going to work a little bit better for you today. But any kind of paper will actually be okay. So I've got my paper a pair of scissors, some glue. You're going to need some markers and just our regular markers, Crazy Art water-based markers, probably a pencil to draw with, and then if you have your colored pencils, that would be great. Of course, if you don't have colored pencils, you can always use crayons. Um, those will work as well. So I'm gonna clear my work surface here, and I'm gonna start with my nine by 12 sheet of paper. Now, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fold mine in half. And I'm just going to crease it here. And once I do that, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this in half. I don't want such a large piece of paper because I'm actually kind of making a card. So I'm gonna cut this in half. So I have a, oh, this would be about a six by nine sheet of paper. So I've got my um, paper here and then I'm gonna fold it. And I would, in class, call this hamburger, hamburger style. So I'm folding my paper and it'll look like this. Now, I'm going to rotate it here and I'm going to make two marks and you don't have to, uh, I'm just gonna take and I'm just gonna do a mark here and a mark here. And it's hard to see. But I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna snip here and snip here. Now, I'm going to open this up 
and I'm actually making the base of my pop-up card. So I'm going to take this here, I'm going to stick my finger under here, and I'm going to fold it the opposite direction, kind of like this. And now I'm going to bring this down and hold it like this and crease this here. So when I open my card, I get this little step area here. So this is what I'm going to be gluing my Among Us character to. So if you make it too small, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking mm, that might be a little bit small. But I'm going to leave it for now. So now, once I get this part done, I'm going to flatten my card, and I'm going to create my art explosion. Now, you can do any kind of background that you want, but um, if you're on a spaceship and there is an abstract art explosion, it's going to be kind of fun. So I've got my colored markers here, and I'm just going to kind of make it look like there is art all over this page. So I am going to just make some marks on my paper. Here we go. And kind of fill in my areas here. Oh, I love purple. So let's see. If I go some da da dashed lines coming up. Hmm, kind of down here. And I'm just kind of filling in my space with lots of color. And I want to make some kind of amoeba-like shapes. And there we go, color those in. Now you can use any medium you want for this. So if your markers, oh my orange marker is starting to run out. Eh, if your markers aren't working or you don't have a lot of markers with the colors that you want, certainly you know, go for it and use something else. Use your crayons. This part is just meant to kind of explode off your page. I don't know. Let's. Oh, this is kind of neat here. Let's see. If I go... And some swirly lines in here with abstract art. Abstract art is more about the way something feels. I want this to be vibrant and exciting um, than the way something looks. So by using a lot of color, I hope I'm inviting you to feel excited about this project. Let's see, let's see. Oh. What if I do a tornado -y type thing here? And another one here. I like to balance my color. And so I've got two over here. I'm going to put another smaller one over here. And by balancing everything out, I feel like it's, it's better. I'm more of a balanced person. Does your art always have to be balanced? No, of course not. probably contaminating my marker here. Okay, I think that's about it. I think I've got it pretty well done now. I've uh, covered in, or got most of my page colored in with a lot of vibrant and exciting shapes and lines. Now I'm going to add some details. So I cut my paper in half and I think I want to add some words up here. But I'm going to do it in that really fun pop art style where you take um, your color, and I think I'm going to use yellow again, and I'm going to create a shape that houses a word. So my shape is going to look like this, kind of like that exploding shape, and I'm going to put a word in there. And I always think of Batman when they had the old time Batman show where they had the words that go kapow, boom, um, zowie, all those words. So I'm going to add this little shape here and then in this shape I'm going to put my word. Now I think I put kapow on the last one that I did. So this time I think I'm going to write the word boom. So B O O M at 
Alex claim. There we go. Eh, there we have it. Now I'm going to cut that out. Now I need to draw my Among Us character. And I'm going to go um, and draw this with you. I've got this as my example. I'm going to just draw that little basic shape. And these were fairly easy to do. I'm going to start with pencil. And if you need to use a different sheet of paper, you can. But I seem to have enough room on this sheet of paper, so I'm just going to use it. You know how I don't like wasting paper. So right now, I think the first thing that they have is that little space shield thing, and it's kind of a oval type shape. And if you make a mistake and you're using pencil, you can always erase it. And that's the beauty of using pencil. So I've got my shape here. And then it comes up. It looks like that shield is sticking out just a little bit. It comes up, over, and down. These are really fun to make. And I think I'm making mine too big. Hmm. Well, I might be able to make it a little smaller. Kind of like that. I want to come back up here. This leg looks skinnier than this one, doesn't it? So, right like that. Okay, now on the back, it seems like he has like a little jet pack thing. It just goes like that, and there's a little thing that goes there. So that's my basic shape. Um, now there's a lot of shading involved to this in making these little characters. I think I am going to take my marker and shade around here with my blue and I say shade but I want this to be a darker blue and I'm going to use colored pencils as well on mine so I've got this kind of like that and now um, the color of my character hmm I don't know let's see I did my last one red so this one is going to be orange so I've got an orange here, I'm going to come up, and this is a very light orange, not what I expected, but that's okay. And I'm going to fill this in solid. This is almost kind of a peachy orange. Maybe this marker has been sitting for a while. And here, I'm just filling in the um, the basic shape that I created. There we go. Now, once that is done, I'm going to start my shading. And I do have my colored pencils here. So first thing I can do is I can start with an orange. And I can fill in any areas here that I think need to be kind of filled in a little bit darker. It's that orange, it's almost the same color, so that's good. I'm going over the top, so. Now I'm gonna choose a color that's a little bit darker, and I'm actually gonna choose this red color. And, let's see. And that pencil's not working very well for me. Let's see if this one is sharp enough. Nope. Apparently, I selected some really crummy colored pencils. Oh well, that's okay. Let's see. This one is my ebony pencil. I'm going to have to go straight to the darker color. But I'm going to start to shade. And they are shaded at the bottom here. Right here. Kind of like that. Now, he's got a belly area that is shaded. So he's actually going to be darker almost all the way. And I'm doing this very lightly. Come up here and I want it to make him look rounded. So I'm coming here. Oh. Maybe it was just going over. I guess those colored pencils weren't so crummy. I think it's just the marker that I'm going over that's giving me a little bit of grief. I'm going to shade over here on that tank and come down. I want to leave it lighter here and kind of like this. So 
So now I'm going to finish up my face shield here and I've got some light blue colored pencil and I'm going to just shade this area in and kind of fill it in. I do want to leave a little bit of the area in the center white, but for right now I'm going to just kind of try to blend that marker line a little bit as we go around here. And I'm going to take this little bit darker color and I might actually put in a few lines here to make it look like it's a little bit more shaded. So there we have it. And I can actually take this blue and go over the top of my orange a little bit because blue is a complement to orange, which means that it's going to dull it out a little bit and make it darker. So there we have it. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take and I'm going to cut out these shapes. So I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to cut along the lines, and I will get back to you and show you how to attach these to your card. All right, I cut out my um, shapes, my Among Us character, and my word here, and now I'm going to attach it to my card. So I've got my background, and you can see that if I were to fold this down, it would look like this. But if I open it up, I've got this little ledge here. So I'm going to actually glue my character, one of the feet, to the bottom of this ledge. So I'm going to take my glue, and I'm using um, regular bottle glue, but if you have a glue stick, all the more, um, I think that's a little bit better. I didn't have a glue stick. So um, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. You have to be careful with liquid glue when you're putting it on... Um, the back of something where you have this water-based marker because sometimes if you put too much glue on, it will um, kind of leach the color out of your um, paper. So you just have to be really careful. Don't use a lot of glue, you just don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna hold this here for a second. Now my um, word here I thought would look really kind of cool in the background, but you could also put it in the foreground if you want. And you know what, I think I am going to put it down here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna add a little bead of glue around the outside. Again, you don't have to use very much. You can spread it out with your finger so you don't have any globs of glue. Um, now I'm gonna take it like this and I think I'm gonna put it right here. And kind of just put it down. And that yellow is standing out but not enough for me. So I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna outline it. And by doing that, I think it'll make that yellow pop just a little bit more, which is what I want. I want that word boom to really stand out. So I'm gonna go around the edges as I go. I might have to rotate my paper around. I don't have a lot of other black on here. If I wanted to, I could outline my letters in this black marker. Let's see how that looks. That's kind of, yeah, that looks pretty good. And again, you need to be as creative as you can be on yours. If you don't want to do yours exactly like mine, that's great. Your character may look different too. So I've got the word boom going here. And I have my Among Us character. Um, you can kind of see it here. And it is my pop-up art explosion. So um, you can see, I kind of like the red one better actually. But it's, it's a personal choice. They both look pretty cool. And Oh, I forgot something. What you're gonna wanna do at, when you make your card is sign your name and the year at the bottom. So I'm just gonna write Poli and 2020 right at the bottom there. So that's it. I hope you have fun creating your Among Us pop-up card.